Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a get ready with me in a hotel room because that's where I am. <sighs> I am actually in Kansas City. Mike has training for the next three days so I just decided to tag along, which means we're gonna be doing lots of filming in this room because I'm gonna be bored. <laughs> so I brought all of my makeup, not all of it. That's a lot. I brought a lot of makeup though, let me show you. So, here, I just laid it out. So this is the bag I use, which I can show you that as well later. I'm gonna do a separate video with that. You know, ignore the bed. We don't make it here. <laughs> um, so I have just a bunch of palettes I brought for eyeshadow and some stuff. I have some brushes, I have eye brushes. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to practice a bridal look because I still need to work on that since I'm doing my own makeup. So yeah, let's just do a simple bridal look. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the No Pore Blamo Primer for my pore area. So like right here, my nose, my smile line. I'm gonna go in then with the NYX Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primers. I have been so dry lately. You know, it's funny. Hotel rooms are fairly thin walled. So I wonder if people outside are gonna hear me and be like, what the hell is she doing? I'm just gonna put that basically over where I just did the other stuff because that is also my most dry spots. I probably should have done this first and then did the pore filling, but it is what it is. So I've noticed I've been getting like some under the skin bumps here and I'm wondering if it's this foundation, the milk makeup, because I've been wearing it the past couple of days. You know what? We're gonna wear a combination. So let's do the milk makeup hide milk makeup flex stick. This is in the shade Porcelain. And then we're gonna use the Hourglass Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. This is in the shade Alabaster, which is actually a little too dark for me. So we're just gonna mix the two. Swipe this on the face, but I think I'll do more of this since it's closer to my color. And then do like a couple little dots of the hourglass since it's too dark but it's also very full coverage so it'll help give the milk makeup more coverage and then i'm going to use the fenty foundation stick to blend this out it's so bright i brought my ring light oh my gosh so i live in iowa so it's only like a three hour drive here so we brought a lot <laughs> and his work gave him a car, which was nice, so we didn't have to use a car to do miles and stuff. I'm gonna add miles. You know what I meant. Moving on, what should we do for concealer? I haven't used this in a while, so let's use this. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. Oh, this is in the shade Alabaster as well. And then I'm gonna get my powder ready, so I use the same Maybelline Fit Me and Fair. It's so weird filming like out of my element. <laughs> oh, I don't have a sponge. Damn it, I'm gonna have to use a foundation brush. All right. This weird. All right. Got powder everywhere. So now I'm just gonna powder the rest of my face and neck. What should we do for bronzer? Let's just do my favorite. So it's the Maybelline City Bronzer in 100. And let's use this today. So this is the, oh, it's completely rubbed off. But I'm pretty sure it was like BH Cosmetics and Illuminate by Ashley Tisdale. Pretty sure that was what the collection was. I don't know if it's still available, but it's just a big fluffy, fluffy brush. And I like it sometimes to do fluffy brushes because it doesn't apply too much immediately. And so it's nice to build it up. I like either using this to build it up or like a stippling brush to build it up. 
and when you're as fair as me you need that <laughs> Or if you buy a bronzer that's just too dark for you in general, but you still want to use it, you can use it as long as you use something fluffy to apply it so that you're building up the intensity. That way you can stop when it starts to get too dark for you. <laughs> Let's go into blush. Let's go in with the Alamar Cosmetics uh, Colorette Blush Trio for fair to light. And I'm gonna use the shade, I'm gonna do what I do a lot, which is a mixture of Castaway and Scorcher, which are these two. So I'm just gonna use a mixture of those. Um, this is the Morphe M530 brush. I use it pretty much all the time for blush. I just really like the combination of the two colors. I'm really, like, I don't really like blush, but if I do blush, I love, like, coral shades. So, really quickly, I'm going to take the ColourPop No Filter Pressed Sheer Powder just to kind of calm down areas that I don't like and to just veil. So I am going to go in with the Pixi Subtle Sunrise and the uh, gold shade. Let's move on. Um, do I want to do bridal makeup? Nah, let's just do a random. So. Let's go in with the Zodiac palette from Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. And I'm going to take the Taurus. Oh, the Taurus. And we're going to use that as our beginning transition shade. I got to move this. James Charles palette is too huge to travel with. All right, let's just go in with this. This is the Morphe M504. We're going to use that to start our crease. Oh, I didn't even mention, um, I used the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Sorry about that. Okay, change of plans because I decided I want to do this uh, liquid eyeshadow. So, let's go in with the Urban Decay On The Run palette. This is a shortcut palette, it says. And let's take the shade Shortcut, which is this like mauvey pink shade. And... I'm going to go in with the Morphe M573 brush, and we're just going to put that in the crease to kind of change the color somewhat. Um, we'll just keep that brown. It's just going to probably help deepen it up. But I really want this more pinky. should have thought about this first. So if you are doing this or wanting to recreate this, do the pink first, and then you can use the brown to deepen it up. Maybe not this intense, but... Sorry, sorry. We'll make it work. I'm not taking this makeup off. I'm gonna just take a clean brush with nothing on it to blend out the edges. I don't know why I haven't been using this mirror. It's so much closer. We're gonna hope these colors don't look bad with that. So, now we're gonna go in with the topper because I'm looking pretty dark. Pretty dark, actually. You could darken up a little bit. Stupid corner that doesn't take pigment. Ugh. It's so annoying. Anyways, this is the Ciate Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Cupid. I keep it in the box because nowhere on here does it say the name. I think it's supposed to be on the bottom and it came off before it got into the box. I don't know. But it's this cool like gold purple shade. Let me just show you. So pretty. I love this. Okay. And we're gonna put that on our eyelid. And I'm just gonna bring it all the way over. It's so pretty, it needs its own moment. The one thing I love about liquid eyeshadows is they make it so effortless to have like a pretty intense look, you know, like a glam look. All right, I'm gonna keep my eyes down so it'll dry some. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this dark purple in the James Charles palette to just kind of slightly deepen up the crease. Okay, so this is the Morphe M506 brush. I'm just gonna use that to deepen the outer V, but also kind of mesh the colors together. Okay, well this is turning into a purple color now. Purple crease. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change my shirt. This does not match. I'm actually going to bring that purple shade all the way over so that it matches throughout. 
but I'm just gonna do it a lot lighter everywhere in the crease except the outer V. Then the outer V, I'll let it kind of build up the color. And then I'm gonna go back in with that brush that had no pigment on it and blend. Okay, I'm gonna take that dark purple shade and I'm actually gonna run it along the bottom lash line. Let's use this. So this is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH43 brush. It's just a flat definer brush. But I'm gonna keep that towards the outer edge and just bring it in a little bit to the inner corner or towards the middle, not really even the inner corner. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH40 brush, which is the same brush as the Morphe M506. Mine's just a little bit more used. And I'm gonna use that to smoke out the lower lash line. And I think I'm gonna take the shortcut shade, so that dusty pink shade, and I'm gonna use that to buff this out. Dude, we went in a completely different direction. I started off this video saying I was gonna recreate or try to do light bridal makeup. Now, for the last touch i'm going to take the white in this palette the james charles palette and i'm just going to clean up these edges where i feel like it just got too far out and just looks weird okay so for inner corner and eyebrow highlight i'm going to use my usual which is mac nylon i'm going to go ahead and do my brows my mascara and my lips off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and finished everything. So for eyebrows, I did the Mellow Brow Definer in Chocolate. Um, but since you've used, I've used it, I don't know if you've used brow definers, but I can't get these small little areas with them. So I used the BH Cosmetics Shade and Define Brow Duo and used the small side. And this is in the shade medium. And then I use the Anastasia Brow Pomade in Taupe. And then for mascara, I use a Mon Lancome Monsieur Big. Monsieur Big. Lips is Jeffree Star Skin Tight Liquid Lipstick. And then BH Cosm BH Bare Minerals uh, Lip Gloss in Sugar. So, yeah, this is definitely not what I planned to look to be, but. I like it. I'm going to have to go change my shirt before I leave this hotel room. So yeah, that is all I have for this video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.